At least five people have been killed, six injured, and 48 others are still missing, a day after the collapse of a coal mine in China's northern region of Inner Mongolia. The open pit mine, operated by Xinjiang Coal Mining Company, had collapsed in a landslide, leaving dozens of workers buried under the debris. State media reports say that the collapse affected a wide area. Some Search and rescue operations resumed this morning after they were disrupted when a second landslide occurred hours after the first. Chinese President Xi Jinping has ordered officials to do everything possible to find the missing. For more details, we're joined now by Lo Min Min. She's live for us from Shanghai. Min Min, uh, the search for survivors continues for the missing, but what more do we know about this accident? Well, we don't know a lot. It was a f horrific incident. You've seen that surveillance camera footage showing this entire slope that just shifted and buried all these vehicles below. That's making its rounds on social media now. Survivors are describing harrowing accounts of escape. One man who has his chest crushed said that if he had been any nearer, he would have died. And another, another man described the rooftop of his uh, vehicle as being as flimsy as paper against the crushing rocks. He was thrown out of his vehicle into a water pit, which he escaped by swimming out. Now, police investigation is ongoing. We still don't know the cause of this accident, but there is a lot of scrutiny over the company's safety track record. Last year, it was penalized for everything from not properly maintaining its vehicles, some of which were missing rearview mirrors. It also did not set, uh, impose uh, speed limits and set up uh, warnings for landslides in the mine. And two of its safety officers did not have the relevant work certificates. And most importantly, it did not uh, submit, uh, correctly fill out those drawings for the mining engineering plans, as well as transportation system plans in accordance to the actual slope situation. So there are questions around safety lapses, whether there were more safety lapses in this incident that is now paid for by human lives. Uh, questions arisen about those lapses, Min Min, but what is the government doing to address mine safety? Is this incident going to affect safety regulations now? Well, governments of several provinces are ordering their local coal miners to uh, conduct safety inspections. But mining safety has been a long-standing problem for China. And even though death rates has been declining by a few percentage points year on year, it's still astonishingly high. Last year, there were over 160 coal mining accidents and nearly 250 deaths. And there was one incident that was similar to the one that occurred yesterday in which a slope had had collapsed. And the cause at that time was because the design of that slope was too steep and there wasn't a flat terrace that was incorporated as a safety feature. Now, last year, the government had declared that they want to cut the fatality rate by 10% by 2025. But now, on social media, many people are commenting that all these safety inspections, they're too little and too late, especially for those families that have lost their breadwinners. Min Min, thank you for that update. Lo Min Min there, live for us in Shanghai.